sometimes you might be interested in having the x and y coordinates so the latitude and the longitude of any particular feature added to your feature or that particular feature or perhaps you want to know what the length of a line is or the area of a polygon you can of course measure each feature using the measure tool so measure line or measure area that is possible however that is not always that accurate it's going to introduce some kind of error so there are a number of tools available to you in QGIS that allow you to automatically calculate the geometric attributes of any particular layer now for example have a look at the point feature layer or the point vector feature that we have that are called town names. Let's open up the attribute table here. You can see it simply lists the name of the towns. So if I now would like to have the latitude and the longitude stored within this attribute table, so stored within the actual file, not just having the towns, of course, draw in my view. You can see them here as the gray outlines. If I'd like to change that symbology, I can simply just double click the layer. Let's change the symbology to something red so we can see it a little bit more clearly. As you can see here, these are all my towns. If I now would like to have my coordinate points, so my latitude and longitude or my XY coordinates stored in the attribute table of that particular feature layer, it's quite an easy thing to do. All you have to do is search for the add XY field to layer. So you just simply type those values into the processing toolbox and the search functionality, double click the tool and specify that you want to have the XY fields added to the towns layer. So here you ensure the towns layer is selected. The coordinate system is the one that you'll be using. So if you want the coordinates given in latitude and longitude, you must specify a geographic coordinate system. So WGS84, we will keep that for now. And you can also save to a permanent file. If you want to save to a permanent file, you'll have to actually specify the name and where you want to save it to. For example, here in my view now, it will be in Practical 2 Data, or you can save it as a temporary layer. So let's run it as a temporary layer. Once it concludes, close the window and open the temporary layer. It's called added fields. If you open this attribute table, you'll see the X and the Y coordinate has been added. So for example, Acacia Park is located at 18.52081 and lots of zeros east and 33 degrees south. So 33 degrees 0.89483 and lots of zeros south. Another way to add the geometric attributes to an attribute table is by using the geometry tool. So you simply search for the add geometries to any particular layer. So to add geometry attributes, double click on that tool and you can add all kinds of geometric attributes to your layer. Now let's use town names again. So we'll add some features to the town name layer. Now the add geometry attributes tool adds specified or predefined geometric attributes to any particular layer. I'll illustrate this using the point vector layer of the town names, which we used before to add the X and the Y coordinate. So simply say run, accept the defaults here. And if you open up the default layer that was created, you'll see that again, your X coordinate and your Y coordinate have been added. So the default geometry fields to add to a vector point layer are the X and the Y coordinates. Now we'll do the same, adding a geometric attribute, but this time we're going to use a line. So for example, we use the railways, which are a vector polyline. Again, we'll just save it to a temporary layer and open up this particular um, layer. So here the default field that is added is the length field. So if you have a look at the previous attribute table, so railways, just open it up. These are the fields that are currently stored within it. It does have a shape length field that is an artifact 
of using this shapefile in the Esri software. And in QGIS, once you've added the geometry info, you'll see that this length, though this, this field rather, is called length, and it calculates the length of each segment in the unit of the layer. So this is a projected layer, this in meters. How do I access that information? Just right click railway, say properties, and go to information. It will tell you it's in meters. So this particular um, layer will calculate the actual length of each segment in meters. So the first segment here with object ID1 is given a length of 9721 roughly meters. You can also use the add geometry attributes for areas. So polygons, vector polygons, double click the tool. We'll add a vector polygon to it, for example, the protected areas. And we are going to just run the defaults there. Once we open up the attribute table, you'll see that an area and a perimeter have been added here. Now we know that a polygon is a two-dimensional feature. It has not only a length in terms of the lines that enclose it, but also it has a breadth, so the area. So the area is that one dimension. It gives us the surface area again in the units of the layer. So if you're not sure what this is, right click, protected area, set properties. And this again is in meters. So those are the units of the layer. And going back to the attribute table. So this area is a square meters. And then the perimeter is the second dimension, which is the length of the lines that enclose the, the polygonal area. And here it's simply an addition of each individual segment that makes up that polygon. So the difference between the two tools that you saw in this video is that the one, the add geometry attributes, adds default fields to each layer based on which type it is. So a point which has zero dimensions will be given a simple location, an x and a y coordinate. A line which has one dimension of length is going to be given that field of length. And a polygon is going to be given the two dimensional fields of length and breadth, which translates into area. If you are working with just a vector point, you can just simply add the XY field to any kind of vector point layer, and it will do the same as the add geometry attributes by adding an X and a Y coordinate. And that, that concludes this video.